Hey crypto fans, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, I'm gonna talk about which types of NFTs that you should be buying if you want to make money in the NFT market. So guys, if you are brand new to the channel and you think you might enjoy the content that I create in the long term, then go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel, you guys, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out, why not, right? And also guys, feel free to go ahead and follow me here on Twitter as well. You can find the link to it in the description below this video. I like to talk about altcoins, NFTs, day trading strategies, and just generally, you know, crypto stuff on a daily basis. So if you're into that, you guys, you might as well go ahead and give me a follow. So guys, we're going to be talking about all about and all about NFTs today. Now I know that my channel doesn't really have much of an NFT audience, um, but there are some people here who do like who who do enjoy um, some of my NFT videos and who do personally reach out to me for specifically NFT videos. Um, so that's why I do them from time to time like this. Um, so guys, we're going to be talking about NFTs today and which ones you know are more likely to make money than other types. Okay, and the reason why I do specifically doing these kinds of videos, you guys, is because I want to spread awareness. I, I really want to spread awareness because I think there's a lot of people out there who are buying NFTs, um, but they're buying them completely blind. They don't know what they're buying. Um, they're literally just buying because it's one, cheap, or two, it looks cool. And three, they, you know, really don't know what the heck they're actually buying. Um, so this is why I'm doing these kinds of videos, because I want to help people be able to figure out what the types of, you know, NFTs are that, you know, are actually selling and the types of NFTs that people actually want, the types of NFTs that you can actually sell for profit on a regular basis, okay? Um, so guys, there's basically two different types of NFTs, okay? I mean, there, there's more different types as well. Obviously, as you guys can see here, there's, you know, we've got art, collectibles, whatever. I'm not talking about those kind of sub -needs. I'm talking about the different types of NFTs. So we've got pretty much like uh, we've got profile picture NFTs and pretty much the biggest ones out there right now you guys are. Um, we've got profile picture NFTs and we've got play to earn gaming NFTs. Okay, those are pretty much the two main types of NFTs that people are buying right now or that people have been buying ever since NFTs came around. Um, so guys, the other thing I want to talk about here real quick is uh, the, the risk involved with uh, investing into NFTs, you guys. And buying NFTs and trying to sell NFTs, it is extremely risky, okay? It really is. Uh, personally, in my personal opinion, you guys, I think it's more risky than... I, I think NFTs are more risky... At, okay, I shouldn't say it like this. Profile picture NFTs, remember back to the different types of NFTs I was talking about? Profile picture type NFTs, I think those are extremely risky, okay? I think that they are just as risky as investing into small-time altcoins with, you know, that 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 don't have a very solid foundation. Um, I think the risk is about the same with that. Now, if you're buying into, because, and the reason why, you guys, is because you just don't know. You, you just you don't know. I mean, any any of these projects can pull their rug at any given time. So we just we really don't know you guys. Um, so it's it's it, they are extremely risky to invest in. Um, so guys, now I'm going to get into a little bit the different types of NFTs. Okay, the actual types of NFTs that you want to stay away from. That's what we're going to start off with you guys. We're going to start off with the types of NFT projects that you should not be buying. Okay, the types of projects you should not be buying the ones that you should be staying away from. Okay. Um, so let me reiterate here, the projects you should be staying away from are, one, you want to stay away from the unpopular projects, okay? I'm talking about the types of projects where the floor hasn't moved in a long time or the, 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 the um, you know, the, the, uh, the overall activity in the project is just extremely low and nobody's buying them and, or they're buying them very minimally and just people aren't buying them. They're just not a popular project, okay? You want to stay away from those projects, and you also want to stay away from NFTs that, um, you know, you want to stay away from NFTs that are like brand new, okay? You you don't want to be buying NFTs that are newly minted. I know it's, you know, it's cool and whatnot, and every NFT that comes out has, you know, every brand new NFT that comes out, everybody gets, gets excited for them because, oh, it's the next new NFT, and this one could be a blue chip, you know, and that's the thing here, you guys. It definitely could be. But it's not worth buying these brand new mint, minted um, NFTs unless you can afford to lose money, okay? If you are going into and you are buying uh, brand new newly minted NFTs with the sole purpose of trying to get rich, don't waste your money. It's just, it's not worth it. I'm serious. Do not waste your money. It, it's it's seriously not worth it because nine times out of 10, actually 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you're going to lose, Okay. This is why I say you should only be buying 
um, newly minted NFTs if you can afford, you know, if you can afford comfortably afford the loss, okay? And I mean, that, that, that goes with pretty much any NFT, but realistically here, you guys, you wanna stay away from NFTs that are brand newly minted and um, NFT projects that are just unpopular and haven't had any activity for a while, okay? Um, and what I'm talking about there, you guys, is I'll give you a good, good example, okay? Uh, we'll go to collections here, and we are going to go to brand new, okay? So these brand new projects, you know, here, these are all probably great projects, and they probably all will be in time. But if these are all brand new projects that were just minted just recently, unless they're from a, you know, unless they're a uh, project that was minted from a project that's already available, you know, it's really not worth it. If it's a brand new project that didn't come from anywhere or come from a bigger, higher name, don't even mess with it, okay? Because um, you just, you really never know. Um, and it's just, that's not a risk that you want to take on. It's just, it's really not. I mean, you could end up losing a lot of money, okay? I'm talking about, about, about projects like, um, let me try to find a couple, okay? So let's see here, SOL Lions. I remember this one from like six or seven months ago. Let me see if I can find them again. I don't even know if they're on here still. Soul Lions. No, I don't see them on here. What happened to these guys? Um, let's see. Are they even on here anymore? I do not see them. Huh, interesting. Well, something must have happened to them. Okay, we'll try another one. Chubby Corgis. Chubby Corgis. Okay. Chubby Corgis. All right, so these guys. All right, this is an example of a um, NFT project that came out probably like six, seven months ago. And, well, maybe not six, seven months ago, probably less than that. Well, maybe like five months, whatever. Anyway, regardless, this is an example of a, of an NFT project that's not popular, okay? Um, it was popular when it first became, mint, or when it was first minted, and it had great momentum and great potential. But as time went on, you guys, the developers ended up leaving, and the project just kind of took a dump. And, I mean, these are the types of projects that you do not want to buy into, okay? You want to stay away from these types of projects, all right? When this project minted, it minted at 0 .10, um, 0 .10 SOL, and now the floor is 0 .01 SOL. Um, realistically here, you guys, don't mess with these kinds of projects, all right? It's just not worth it. It's just, it's just not worth it, okay? So stay away. Again, guys, let me reiterate here. Stay away from projects that are newly minted because you never know if they're going to go up or down, um, and stay away from projects that have no activity whatsoever. Oh, let me show you that real quick. So um, which ones was I on? What was I just on? I'm losing my mind here, you guys. Okay, so... Oh, the chubby corgis. <laughs> oh, man, I just totally lost my train of thought there. All right, so the chubby, chubby corgis, all right, guys. So when I say activity levels, okay, here's what I'm talking about, about all right? So this is the activity, okay? In the last 30 days, you guys, there haven't been many sales whatsoever. We'll go to the last seven days even. You know, in the last seven days, I mean, you can clearly see there's really not much that have been bought. There's, there's really not. Um, I mean, the, and the only reason people are buying them is because they're extremely, extremely cheap. But trying to flip them or turn them around, clearly, you guys, you can see that there's really not many sales or volume flowing through this project whatsoever. It's just not worth it. You're going to end up in a money pit. You're going to end up frustrated. You're going to end up pissed off. Don't waste your money on projects like this, okay? All right, guys. So now we're going to move on to uh, now we're going to move on to projects that you should be buying, okay? The the popular projects, okay? You want to be buying popular projects, okay? Now, I understand you're probably thinking to yourself, oh, well, popular projects are very expensive. You know, I can't afford them. Well, that is the truth, and that's why they're expensive, because people want them. You want to buy projects that people want. That's that's kind of that's kind of the point of uh, investing into something that, um, you know, appreciates in value. Um, it people, they're expensive because people are buying them. So those are the types of projects you guys want to be buying, you guys. You want to be buying projects like CryptoPunks and Board Ape Yacht Club and Azuki and, you know, Decentraland type stuff and the Sandbox, you know, type stuff. These are more play to earn. These are more P2E type uh, NFTs rather than profile picture NFTs. Um, you know, and you know, you got Moonbirds and Doodles and, you know, all of these popular NFTs, okay? And literally all I did, I just went to, I went to OpenSea and I went to the stats page and I clicked on uh, rankings and I literally just went to here and clicked all time to see the all time rankings for NFTs on Ethereum. And these are pretty much all the, you know, top ones on Ethereum, you know, so... 
uh, that's what I'm talking about, you guys. You want to be buying NFT projects that people are liking and people or that people are buying and they are popular because those are the ones that are going to sell you guys. Now, we'll go to another one just like, you know, because uh, now uh, OpenSea supports Solana. So we'll go to Solana. You know, the same thing, you guys. You know, Solana, top project right now, OK Bears. OK, Our all, all time, all, all the all time, um, an all time uh, good project for Solana is OK Bears. OK, and then we've got, you know, uh, the brigade, the br brigaded by the fracture. Clearly, this is a popular project. People are loving this one. Um, then we got D Gods. That's another very popular one. Um, sets sets on sets on crack. I don't know what that is, but that's kind of funny. Uh, but as you guys can see here, you know, you want to be buying projects that are popular. OK, and that is how you can find them is by going to the stats pages, seeing which ones are popular, you know, on an overtime on a broad overtime basis. And, you know, hey, buy into projects like that, you guys. You know, it's the same thing on Solana or on Magic Eden on Magic Eden for Solana, too. You know, you come to you come to the collections pages, you guys. And if you click on popular, it's literally going to show you all of the popular. Oh, wait, sorry, we'll click on 30 days, too. So in the last 30 days, it's going to come up with all the popular NFT projects that are on here. You guys, these are the ones you guys want to be buying. OK, Bears, D Gods, um, whatever this is, whatever this is, whatever this is, uh, Reptilian Renegade, you know, Smokeheads, the Stoned Frogs, whatever. You want to be buying these types of projects, you guys. These are the ones that are going to be able to turn a profit in the long term because people want them. And it's just you guys, it's it's really as simple as that, to be honest with you. Uh, personally, you guys, in my personal opinion, the way that I treat NFTs is I, I'm into crypto for the long term. So if you're anything like me, um, I'm a long, long, long term investor. So if you're anything like me, then treat NFTs like lottery tickets. OK, I like to treat NFTs like lottery tickets because I don't want to make NFTs as my number one main source of investment, I guess you could say. Um, I don't want to put all of my money into NFTs. So I treat it as I treat NFTs the same way that I treat uh, meme coins, okay? You know, I would have no problem putting, you know, a hundred bucks or, you know, anything up to $500 into, uh, you know, various meme coins as a potential lottery ticket because one, I can afford to lose that comfortably if it, you know, if it tanks and two, I could care less if it goes up or not. You know, it's literally just in the background and I'm not worrying about it, okay? So that is how you want to treat, you know, investing into NFTs or anything like that. Treat it like a lottery ticket, okay? Um, so yeah, guys, overall, I feel like I did a pretty good job here explaining what I wanted to get it across. Uh, so guys, if you guys have any questions about anything like this whatsoever or about NFTs or anything like that, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I have no problem answering your questions or anything like that, you guys. Other than that, you guys, um, that pretty much does it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, before you guys leave, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the comment section of my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.